with you because I know a lot of more buses on the road today. Mm -hmm. And today is the day. It's back to school time for Chicago Public School kids and staff. And there's already a lot that looks a lot different from what we've seen over the past couple of pandemic years. CBS 2's Marissa Parr live at one of those CPS schools welcoming back students in just a few hours. Good morning, Marissa. Brian Adrina, good morning. Yeah, there's a lot of things that are different this year. Some things are returning for starters. CTA Metro and Pace are offering free rides for all students K through 12. They're also going to be offering those same discounts, if you will, to the parents and people, adults that are riding with them. Now, transportation is a big talker this year. We have been talking for the last several months about issues filling staffing at Chicago Public Schools for a while. And the bus driver positions are no different. Now, because of this, CPS will be offering $500 monthly stipends and or CTA passes to help students that otherwise can't get to school without a school bus. A lot is different this year, though, when it comes to COVID-19 protocols in particular. Masks are optional. They're just strongly encouraged. And probably the biggest change, unvaccinated students and staff who are exposed are no longer required to quarantine on the basis of that exposure alone. Now, at least five different city schools will be used as vaccine clinics from tomorrow until Friday. You can see them on your screen there. These will be open from 9 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. You can find the full list on our website, cbschicago.com. Now, coming up here at Falconer Elementary, the mayor is going to be here. She's going to be quite literally ringing in the new school year, ringing a bell. Then she'll head over to South Shore and do the exact same thing at Excel Academy. That starts at 11. We're live from Craig and Marissa Parra. CBS 2 News.